Hello and welcome everybody to the Symbio video channel. The Symbio video channel is all about empowering the Symbio stakeholders, like the Symbio viewer who can only see released data. Beside the Symbio viewer, there are also other stakeholders like the author, the architect, the approver, the analyst and the administrator. So let's have a look at the final video for the viewer. It's all about providing feedback, generating a process manual, setting global filters, among other things. So let's jump into the system. As before, I am here logged on as a Symbio viewer and let's have a look uh, about the feedback function. So I'm just jumping to a released sub process. And just in general, a viewer can provide feedback or a optimization suggestion to the process owner via a workflow. And so the workflow needs to be approved by both the quality manager and the responsible in order to reach the author. And as a viewer, you simply click here on the toolbar on the request icon, and then a new window is building up. And in that window, you can provide the feedback. So it could be a feedback in relation to, for example, a role which should be replaced on the process or a additional process step could be added, et cetera. So you see as a viewer, you would just here narrow down your request and the urgency, et cetera. And then here the title could be, for example, replace role and then in the description field here a more detailed feedback could be provided which then reaches the author um, provided it has passed the, the workflow so both again the qm and the responsible needs to approve until it reaches the author okay so i'm just closing this dialogue here obviously in order to start the workflow you would just click okay here and then the workflow starts i'm just closing it here for the moment by the way, as a viewer, you will then receive an email in order to be informed where the workflow currently is. Also here you can check in the info board left beside your username where the workflow currently is. Okay, so that's the feedback function and you can also use it in relation to a role or a risk or a document, etc. It's not only in relation to a process. Let's move on. Let's talk about the um, permalink. So you can create a web link for a particular process or any other data object. And the goal could be probably to send this web link to a other Symbio user via email. That could be a scenario. And you create the link, for example, for this process here, let's stick to that one. You just click here in on the toolbar on this icon and then as before with the feedback a new dialogue is building up and here you have then three different options you can choose so you see here in the drop down you can create a version independent link a link directly to a particular version or a link to a version selection so that could be a individual process task in a process for example Okay, so that means let's just go for that one here. You choose one of the three, you create the link, and then you just copy the link here by clicking on this small icon. And now the link could be pasted into an email, for example, and the email could be sent to a colleague who has also access to Symbio. And that colleague then immediately sees the view you have created the link for. Okay, let's close this window also, and let's have a look at a additional feature. We call it the global filters. Global filters can be used in order to filter for data, which is only relevant to certain organizational units or locations, for example. If you do that, then the database would consequently only show uh, data in relation to the filters you have set, and all other data is then deactivated. So let's just show you an example. I go to the global filters here at the very top of the browser. And let's just assume we would like to update the database only with data in relation to the org unit logistics. Okay, so we just look for logistics. And now you see the following happens. The database automatically 
updates only shows you data in relation to the org unit logistics. All other data is deactivated. You see that immediately here, five processes are deactivated. One process can only be jumped into, okay? Also on the left in the navigation tree, you see that there are less processes as before. Let's have a look at one modeled sub process, for example, the store good process. When we have a look at the detailed view, you see also here the role quality manager is deactivated and so is the output quality inspect. Okay, so that's what you can do with the global filter and you obviously get rid of it by just resetting it and then the database goes back to the original status showing you all the data. Now let's go back to the start page for just a second and let's talk about the process manual. So beside a the process you can have a look at in the browser you can also generate a process manual. It's just a additional publishing option you have. So let's go to a released process as before. And in the toolbar, you see you can generate a process manual straight as a PDF document. So let's go for this process description. Then you can here just retrieve it on in the bottom left and open the PDF document. I'm just going to maximize the view a bit. So you see that's the standard process manual. The corporate identity of a organization can be embedded then there is a table of content and you probably can imagine the data you see in the browser you just see here in this PDF document. So all general process information is included like the release history, the responsibilities, etc. Also the process graph can be seen in this case a horizontal swim lane and a table of content or a table with all the tasks and the related roles, input, outputs, etc. Okay, good. Let's go back to the overview with all the videos. So just one general uh, thing concerning permissions. So as I already mentioned, a viewer simply sees all release data in the database. However, your administrator can work with permission sets and user groups in order to restri restrict the access to, to the data. Consequently, confidential process, for example, will only be visible for certain viewers. So please get in touch with your database admin in relation to the permissions you have. Good, so let's just summarize the videos for the viewer. The four previous videos were all about the navigation, the different process views, the search, the favorites, the feedback and the reports, among other things. I hope you liked the videos. The next whole series of videos is in relation to the Symbio author who creates and models processes. Thank you for having watched the video. Bye-bye.